And welcome back to the long run where we are hopefully now going to finish our run of CrossCode. All right. And this time, if uh, if I end up taking way too much damage or dying, that at that point is squarely on my own lack of skill. Or perhaps on the game being a complete dick because of this room. Oh, come on. You get caught up in the crossfire. There we go. With a lot more health than I had before. Three, four. There. Jump. Jump. Spin break, that's fine. Mm. Throw, jump, jump. There we go. So we're past this room. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, I can also okay. I can also draw it to the um, the honey pool. To distract it, so I can get behind it better. I feel like the gear that I was wearing did actually have an impact on the fact that I couldn't do that. Three left. Okay. 
And now just those two jokes right there. Actually, what are your deals? Very neutral. Interesting. We haven't fought one of you since we got here. There we go. That's all we needed to do was improve our gear. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna exit here just for safety's sake. So that our auto our autosave is at the top of this cleared room. Let's open her up. Okay. Traveler, you descended into the depths of this crater, getting ever so close to your destination. Yet there is one last trial for you to pass. The time has come for you to demonstrate the full extent of your proficiency. Welcome to the final boss. Oh, did I say boss? I meant bosses. Okay, that's that one now. Yeah? These are literally the gods of this planet. So that's what we're doing here. So expect me to do this a lot. Because I'm going to need to actually stop and think often. Didn't quite get it. Ow, ow, ow.
Got it. Uh, shock shield. I do kind of remember bits and pieces of this boss, bits and pieces of this boss. So I do kind of remember some of the things that I need to do. Should be able to break you. You have cold shield, so I hit with fire. Bam! Phase one done. Okay, what do I need to do? that with element. Okay, I wasn't actually breaking him there. Yes, this is going to go diagonally, which I wasn't expecting. you ended up, but okay. There. Okay, just barely got that. Heat shield. Yeah, all right, phase three.
Basically, the sooner you can get that done, the less bad this attack will be. I think this attack is always as bad anyway. Now all four of them are active. I think you have to break two of them in order to uh, draw out Diorvis. Not even close to any of them. <sighs> oh, geez. I keep getting a different one. Seems a little counterintuitive to uh, actually dash into the enemy there um, to avoid the attack, but that's the best way I've found to actually do it. That's two of them. Which means we get to do this.
not enough. Fortunately, uh, the Arbus will start with half of a bar of um, of stun, or of yeah, of, like break, I guess. For not having done this fight in like probably about four years. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Like admittedly. And now we'll be able to break Jorvis again. Heat shield, so hit cold. There we go. Fa so, intermission three, going into phase four. This time we have to deal with every element. Oh, this is not gonna end well. Yep, and that's a full charge. This is gonna suck. One thing I can do to mitigate damage a little bit is uh, switch to the element that uh, it's using. But then this part here is entirely dodge. This is neutral damage. Oh jeez. And we're not done with the intermission yet. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh my goodness. We're alive, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive. Cross sandwich, please. Should not have survived that, we did. So now all four of them are out. And in order to draw Diorbus out, we're gonna need to take every single one of them out. as much room as I can. Oh no, apparently I only needed to take two out. Not doing enough stun though. 
Yeah, I need to do it again. It's fine. This is a special. This is your special. into you. Okay. That means we get one more shot at Diorvis. And if we can do enough damage. We didn't do enough damage. That's fine. There's not another intermission. We're just gonna do this again, and uh, Diorvis is gonna start at half stop. Of a litter here. Okay, one down. Arguably one of the mo the most annoying ones of the of the bunch. So just need to break the Orbis again. Cold shield. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. fight is a rush. Not gonna lie. And there we go. With one more, uh, with one singular more action. We have beat Crossworlds. But we're not done yet. We still have our own story to, to worry about. My hands are shaking. Your journey has continued for a long time. You traveled far and passed every trial. Finally, you have reached your destination. You, the traveler, the envoy of change, your task in this world has been fulfilled. As such, you are now ready to proceed further. Start your journey once more, because life is there for you to grow and growth will only happen as your journey continues, Find, forming a path with every step you take. Traveler, we will await your arrival in a new world full of wonder. The gods leave you one last present, you get one circuit point in each elemental circuit. A Stargate, yo. Seeker, we have finally found it. The secret of the ancients. Right at this very moment, you are standing in front of it. 
a portal to a new world, a technological achievement beyond our current understanding, and also a lead to the current whereabouts of the ancients. Yet for now, this portal remains closed. In order for it to activate, its energy source needs to be sufficiently charged. As more seekers pass the Kulera Temple, more energy should be channeled towards the portal. It is merely a matter of time before it opens. Seeker, it is thanks to your contribution that we have come this far. You have my deepest gratitude. Once this portal has been opened, I invite you to join our expedition. To raise Operation Trackwalker to a new level. To follow the ancients and enter a new world. A new world will soon emerge. Cross Worlds New Horizons. The new expansion Cross Worlds is currently still in development. Release information will follow soon. Stay tuned. Unfortunately, this is not a sequel hook to Cross Code. Uh, they have already announced that they have no current plans, at least, to work on Cross Code. Uh, Radical Fish's current project, Project Terra, uh, has nothing to do with this. Uh, hopefully, someday they'll come back and do this. Who knows? We'll see. Hi. Hey there, Leia. Ha! I was first! Don't worry, dear. Most of us just arrived. True, that dungeon was seriously long. Most importantly, space bird battle! Finally, we could fight those space birds. They had it coming for wasting my time with their poetry. Emily, please. Those are the gods of the ancients. Misha, we all should be grateful that we finally found the secret of the ancients. A portal to a new world. I knew it'd be something like that. Yep, it's the perfect way to make a sequel. Can't wait for another uh, track. Can't wait to run another track of the ancients. Fantastic. Oh, got you, Grasshead. Woohoo! Not so smug. Nah, not so smug now that you're running for the first time, huh? Hold on. Hello, everyone. You see, I took longer because I was busy helping Jorn out. Excuses. Yeah, I never asked for any help. Whew, I guess that was it. Yeah, that was quite the boss fight. They definitely worked hard on it. Hi! Hey. Oh, Leah's already here. Beaten by your own clone. How does it feel, Shizuka? <laughs> well, figures. I'm not the one spending my whole time in the game. <laughs> Speaking of, where's Tronny? Where's Tronny? That's right, Tronny is the only person missing, it seems. Let's just wait a bit. I'm sure he'll show up. Um, scratch that. I just checked. It seems he's back in home shit already? Well, maybe he finished first. Anyway, that was a long session. I'll call it quits for today. Same. Alrighty, I'm sure most of us here need a break. It was an honor playing with you all. Have a good night. Hmm. I, b I have a bad feeling about Tony. We should pay him a visit, no? Alright, I'll wait for you at his house. All right, back to Homestead we go. Um, wait, which one was his house? That one. Okay, let's see what Tony is up to. I'm over here. Hi. Hey, Tony. What's up with you? Did you finish the dungeon that quickly? No, I went back early. Oh, why? 
I just wasn't in the mood. Sorry. Oh dear. So, why is that? I guess Leah, or rather Sergei, didn't tell you anything, right? Tell me what? About who I really am. What? You're Toby, no? Student, biology nerd. That was an act. What? I'm spying on you. And that's not even the worst of it. Right at this moment, you're talking to Sidwell. I'm his Evotar. Excuse him, what? You're joking, right? Tell him he's joking. What the heck? I'm sorry. How does how does any of this even make sense? All this time? Take the raid event. I arranged it so that we could pull Leotar uh, uh Leotar? We could pull Leah into Evotar ground. And after Leah escaped again, I tried to get you two to reconcile. Just so that we could uh, just so we, just so we could get you to go for another raid. Stop this! This is not helping! That just back up for a moment. Let's leave out that weird part about you being Sidwell and all. You said that you spied on us. Yes. Okay. I still remember how I got mad as hell at Poralia for very stupid reasons. What was it you said back then? Mia didn't really want all these things to happen, me? Right. So what about you? Did you want to drag Leah into the Avatar ground? Did it feel like the right thing for you to do? Well, I just did what I planned myself, so... Actually, no. That's the thing. I felt wrong. And honestly, this is what I don't get. Even though it was supposed to be what I wanted, I regretted what I did even back then. There, that's something, no? I think that matters. Does it really, though? Me? At least I think we really shouldn't be mad at you, for now. Those <laughs> dark eyes. I, I don't know what to say. I did not say anything stupid because I'm trying really hard not to be mad here. Oh, okay. So, when do you think you are Sidwell? Well, I remember things that only Sidwell could have witnessed. But also, you felt bad for spying on us. Why didn't you just stop? Uh, I'm not sure. I just had to. What was the plan? What plan? The, the long session? Wait. The session has concluded. Yeah. Oh, what? Wait. Tony, are you okay? Not quite. Why? Tony, please calm down. What happened? Tony suddenly remembered things, but then he almost collapsed. About the whole interrogation program, it was a bottleneck. Simply moving players into the Evo Chargram wasn't enough. We had to move them in, in the right moment to make it seem plausible. Show them familiar scenes and characters to trigger their memories. To do all that, we had to gather information on the targets first. Learn about their background. That's why we spied on them outside and within the game. That was strange, though. I remember that we had up to 20 targets to watch within the game simultaneously. And I don't remember any other spies with working within Crossworlds. It was just me. I said, well... So you watched all these people at the same time. That's right. I was playing Crossworlds a lot. Switching between different avatars, playing with multiple groups of people. Are you absolutely sure? There was there really was no one else? Not entirely. I seem to remember one other person working with us, but whenever I do I panic. Everything goes blank and then I can't remember anything further. However, one thing I do remember. I met that person in Evotar Round. That's right. That's why we were wondering, can we go there? To that Vermilion land or whatever it's called. I'm sure if we go there, Tronny will be able to remember. Well, the thing is, I know it's closed off, but you do have the connections, no? Unfortunately, that is not all. 
Entertainment plans to demolish the whole area in a couple of days. What? Why? You have to see it from their perspective. Considering that all that just considering all that happened there, they would rather just make it disappear. Of course, their priority is to continue their business. I'm honestly not sure if I'll if I'll ever be able to remember it on my own. That's fine. Maybe it's something meant to be forgotten. Don't say that! Please, Monsieur Asimov. We have to go there, somehow! Alright. I really hope those days of doing things unofficially were finally over. I might be able to arrange something. Thanks! Merci, Monsieur! But I will need time until tomorrow. For now, you better just uh, sleep on it for a night. I will get in touch with you. See you tomorrow. Fingers crossed! Alright, that's all we can do now is rest. Me? And when all this is over, make sure to finish the final temple. It's worth it. Sure. Time to go to bed. And no dreams to review, so at least there's that. <gasps> Wait! Hey, good morning, Leo. Do not worry, I just arrived. Wait! Why didn't nobody tell me about this meeting? Oh well. What's the, what's the news, Mr. Asimov? Well, I talked to Jet and the others. Today we'll, we will be able to sneak into Vermilion Wasteland one last time. Awesome, let's go then. Wait a moment, I expected Citron to go there. Pony? Just by himself? He might just remember things and collapse? Then what? Poor Tony needs our help. Come on, I suppose you have a point. I will have to check with Jet. Thanks, très bien. In any case, we will start the whole operation tonight. Let us meet in, in Citron's house to, to start things off. Make sure you are well prepared. Alright, tonight it is. Let me know if you feel like doing any last minute grinding together. Same. Um, actually, we should be good. We're level six. We're level seventy-six with a full set of um, ascended gear. We should be good to just go straight to the ending. Once you enter, you will enter. You'll, you'll embark to Vermilion Wasteland. Warning: This will be a point of no return. Make sure to keep a save before you enter. Let's do it. Okay, is everyone ready? You think so? Me, let's go. All right then. I'll have to get you through in Jet's cargo ship. Jet's what? Is that a special location? You will see. Mia, yeah, how about you go ahead? I will need a moment to get the to get things ready for these two. Let us meet at the at the bridge at the bridge's balcony. Meet. Sacre bleu! We really are on a car. We really are on a cargo ship. This is not really part of the playground, is it? Neither is familiar wasteland, and this is the safest way to go there. Hi! Would you look at that colorful trio? Uh, bonjour, I'm Emily. No time. No time for introductions. I guess you drove us over to that place and we're done. Okay. Let's see, how do we do this? <laughs> you two, get close together. The blue last jumps on my back. I can hold the other two. Ready? Whoa! Do you really think this will work? 
Hey, you folks waiting, that's nothing. Hold on tight. Wow, that was weird. You're welcome. I'll be off then. Good luck. Now see to the right, Captain. Where? Right? Where are we exactly? I see you have arrived. You're at the board of uh, Vermilion Wasteland. Just continue straight ahead, jump down the wall, and you'll be inside. Merci, monsieur. Let's go. Ah, I'm here now. I see. Do you remember where to go? Yes, it's to the west. Post of the quest hub. Quest hub it is? Allons-y! Also, I think there's like a chest that we didn't get around here. Yeah, we're at 10 of 11. I don't think it's particularly important to find that chest. It's somewhere around here. That building to the far north. Wait, what's your deal? Oh, uh, whatever. I don't see any obvious way of getting over there. I'm not going to worry about it. No, not that one. This one. There it is. Hmm. Looks close to me. I thought it would open. I guess my user ID changed since I'm now an Evotar of my old self. Can you help, Monsieur Asimov? Let me have a look. Ah, yes. That should do it. Thanks! Onwards! Oh dear. What's with this creepy atmosphere? That was part of the point, I think. These are a little seventy. Yeah, th this part is not meant to be particularly hard, it's just kind of a closure for the story. Of course, that doesn't mean that we should look down at guard. creepy too. I'm sort of surprised that those enemies are still here. The farting rhinos again. Yes, me too. I suppose this part was hidden well was hidden well enough, so they just missed them. Can't you just disable them? I would rather not. Why? Uh why? We are not allowed to be here, so I would prefer to leave as few traces as possible. Makes sense. More creepy enemies, I guess. I don't know. Interesting how they rationalized it. That's quite the hallway. I didn't expect a, such a huge, such a huge place. It's not as huge as it seems. Once the doors with nothing behind them. Let's have a look around. This. This was the old meeting room. 
when I discuss things with Satoshi, Gotham, and Shizuka. Yeah, we had a lot of difficult discussions here. This room hasn't been used ever since Satoshi moved back to the old hideout. There's not much to see here. Yes. This was my workplace. This terminal. Here's where I gathered my tasks. I have a list of targets I had to watch. I submitted all the intel I, the intel I found. Collaborated with our spies outside the game. Occasionally, I also submitted ideas of additional players to turn, to, to turn into Evotars. Fellow players are our investigation targets, and so forth. Having friends around actually helped their memories to return faster. Hmm. All right. So I might have ended up here as well, or uh, as well because of Leah or Lucas. Potentially, yes. Fortunately, it didn't. I remember that I saw a recording in this room. It seems I can't play it again. That's too bad. Who would have seen my real self? The real Sibo? Yes. I saw here when my work started. A video I recorded for myself. A reminder for my tasks within the game. Which people I had to interrogate. The things we already knew about them. Why? Me? Isn't that weird? You were just sit well playing crossworlds, no? Why remind yourself with that, uh, about that with the video recording? I, I wasn't playing crossworlds in a normal way. I was using a, a special connection, playing the game continuously. Or was I? Thank you for your contribution. <sighs> Pony! Saw it again, that person. Just breathe slowly or something, okay? This is frustrating. Meet? Where? Huh? Right, you said you met that person in Evotar Ground. Was it in this room? No, it was somewhere else. Right, I remember! That room is not accessible by default. I just opened it. Let's go there. Oh, these jerks. Dice mages. Yep, dice mages. So that one over there just rolled a six. Managed to cancel the attack by uh, finishing it off. There we go. Dice mages have been dealt with. Funny dice mage, knowing to punch them. This. This is it. My personal room. Neat office. Wow, a whole bonsai garden. Oh. Oh. Oh, what's a pretty person? Somebody you know? Yeah, you could say that. 
Manuela. She knew the person I used to work with. We were rather close. Actually. Leah, I think I told you about her several times, didn't I? Hmm? So when was I left out? It was long before Leah entered the playground. Back when she was created, when I entered the game as Sidwell. I actually spent a lot of time with Leah, teaching her things. Okay. You two share a lot of history. Never would have guessed. Those times were complicated. Somehow, Leah reminded me of her. Manuela couldn't talk either, you see. The one person that felt close to us. Mm. Yes, it was here. That person, I met him here. Let's have one last talk. Mm. Tony, pull yourself together. Sergey, there is a hidden entrance behind those shelves. Can you open it? Let me have a look. Ah, oh, that must be it. Just a moment. What? What's back there? This is creepy. This was where things ended for me. What? I can't remember any further. We have to go and see for ourselves. Alright, let's get this over with. By now you should have realized your true circumstances. You are just one of many that came before you. The time has come to release you of your position. I'm sure there's still information left that you decided not to share. And that, that is why this will be your final inter interrogation. Oh dear. What? What is this? Why is Sidwell here? It, it was him. All this time, I... Pull yourself together, Tony. It looks like he's about to attack. And there... There is no point fighting him. Really? We'll see about that. Hmm. We're barely doing damage. What is this? Intelligence told useless. No, we won't give up that easily. Mostly, I think this is pretty much a survival fight to begin with. Oh no, 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 please! Tony, are you okay? It's the interrogation, please, you have to stop it! Uh, wait, it didn't hurt? Don't worry, you're using regular pain sensors. Leah, Citron. What? I had this closer look at this Sidwell. It is a, a scripted enemy using his avatar's appearance. It looks like Gotham was involved in its creation. This time it is using a ridiculously large defense boost to negate your, na your damage. I found a way to manipulate his clones. Defeat them to boost your attack. Also, make sure to tell Emily. I cannot send her this message. Okay. Uh, Emily, attack the clones! Sergey did a thing! What? Um, all right, I guess? Oh, we can beat the clowns! And they make us stronger! Awesome! So basically, same deal as we've done uh, in other unofficial locations. And we are starting to do damage. No, not again! Don't worry, Tony. We can beat the clones before they attack you. Mia! There's no point in being silent.
Take that, you jerk. He looks like he's, he's increasing his defense again. Dang it. Ow. I feel like this would be a really interesting mechanic, honestly, for for a real MMO. It's probably something that some real MMOs do. Is. I haven't played a real MMO in a while, you can probably tell. But um, just the the concept of like defeat the ads to make yourself stronger again. Why is it always me? Maybe because because you're his evil target and he doesn't like it. You neglected the surveillance of interrogation targets 78 and 94. This will continue until I get answers. Days are numbered, Sid well. What? Wah! Press the wrong button. Unfortunately, we have to do the survival part again. build up my uh, circuit points actually. Something that I kind of neglected to do the first time around. Uh, did I say circuit points? I mean spirit points. Increasing his defense again. Ow. Thank you. 
basically you want to attack these guys as they turn um, purple because uh, the break bar will go up a lot faster in that state. Uh-oh. Emily's down. How are you talking, Emily? You're not here. I got stuck in the uh, miasma on the side. At least it doesn't take any time to actually get back to this part. What am I doing? Why am I using SP? I'm trying to build SP. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, Emily got back up, but at the wrong time. Okay. Third time's a charm, right? Third time's a charm. Ow, ow. You can't be tracking me that uh, precisely. Is one done again? doesn't hurt, but you do lose HP. It, it hurts the way that it can hurt an Evo Tower.
Because it's like the big thing about um, the pain inflicted. Oh, there we go. The big thing about the pain, the type of pain inflicted, is that it's um, supposed to be like actual. It's supposed to simulate like nervous pain on like maximum sensitivity. There we go. You survived at that time. But, uh, yeah. For, for, I'm sure that uh, Sergei had something to do with uh, the pain sensors. Uh, like, the pain receptors being, like, set to minimum. Gosh, when is this finally over? Not much longer. We got plenty of clones to beat now. Hooray! I was hasty and oh my goodness! Thank you for thank you for dropping by, J Pop. You made it almost to the end, and I'm sorry that I'm bad at this fight. Again, I need to build uh, SP, not spend it. Spending it is useless right now. a regular sandwich. I don't remember Sidwell giving me quite this much trouble the first time, uh, the first time I fought him. Like, the, the Ancients were, like, the Gods of the Ancients were a lot 
more difficult than Sidwell. Like I said, I had to kind of grind out my understanding of that fight for three whole sessions the first time I did it. Ow, 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 stop that. Why were you attacking the wheel? Said, well, you need to be attacking the clones. see if I can just leave this room and come back so we don't have to do at least that part of it. In order to conserve health, I'm just going to avoid fighting until uh, Toby gets captured. Now so I can fight this red guy because it's not going to move. Lost myself. Okay. That was apparently a hit. and do the, the lockdown thing. There we go. Okay. Now if we can survive this.
can stop aiming for me, said Joel. Okay. We probably will need to survive that a second time. Don't be hasty. Just don't attack him. Now finish him off. There we go. We just beat him. Punched his face. This was awesome! I never expected we could just defeat him. I guess it was just an, an enemy designed his, in his image. But still, some of them look exactly like you. Yes, because I used to just be one of them. I remember now. Something I knew for some time now. Something I suppressed all this time. When I was spying in Crossworlds, my whole existence resided in this game. The message I recorded for myself? It told me about a prolonged playing session, that I was using a special connection to the game, and that my memory would be fuzzy because of it. I just accepted it, and did, I, did, did as I told myself. Days and weeks went by, spying on other players, sending intel, coordinating interrogations, but as my memory returned I realized that I was Sidwell no longer, and I was stuck in this game. I, myself, was an Evotar, and I was working for Sidwell. I'd also remember that this whole procedure had repeated itself several times. Sidwell, he'd create Evotars of himself, would tell them the narrative of the long playing session. He would then use them as reliable and capable spies within the game for as long as it worked. And once they did finally find out, he'd dispose of them. And this is what happened in this room. It was my last interrogation to make sure I didn't keep any secrets from the real me. Damn, this is messed up. Seedron, there is one thing I'm still puzzled about. That is, why is your evil tower still here? It sounds like you experienced your interrogation here, so... Would this not imply that your evil tower has been deleted? You're right. I should have been deleted, and in fact, I was. What? But I found a loophole, and that's why I'm still here. Maybe it's best if I just showed you. Let's go back to the new meeting room, MO402. I already realized I was an Evotar several weeks before I was deleted. 
there was nothing I could do about it, so I just played along. I suppose this is usually what we clones did. But then I found a way to escape. Let me have a look. Yes, it's still here. My former user ID. It was on the day that Leah escaped from Evotar Ground. And that day really changed everything. It seemed like the whole interrogation business was bound to break down. When Leah's reappearance strongly hinted toward an elaborate mission to find and rescue Satoshi. To achieve that, they'd have to secure the Evotar server and potentially save all the Evotars on it. Unfortunately, Sidwell's Evotars, as I would eventually recall, were stored on a separate server. Hardly anyone even knew about it, so its data was likely to be lost. So, in order to have any chance of being rescued, I'd have to migrate to the main Evotar server. And there was just one way to do that. To create a new Evotar, based on myself. I honestly wasn't sure if it would even work. I just did it. I submitted my own user ID as a potential interrogation target. Fortunately, without Sidwell taking any notice. And thus, a new Evotar was created. And that's who I am. This is why I'm still here. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. So, you're an Evotar of an Evotar of Sidwell. That's right. What? No way! So, what now? What is it? I told you my whole story. There's nothing more to add. I'm still Nemo to her said, well, sure, I was used by him, but he'll always be part of who I really am. Me? So, do I really still deserve to still be here? The stay in Homestead? Not gonna lie, this is a tough one. To be frank, this is not something for just for us here to decide, right? We all knew it would be difficult, but there was no reason in delaying it any further. The day had arrived. We had to tell them, everyone involved. And that's the whole story. I know there was no point in apologizing. Still, I am sorry. The least I can do is help you catch the real Sidwell. I'll tell you everything I know about him. And all the things I've yet to remember. But independent of that, the question is... Am I allowed to stay in this village? That is up to you. I'll be outside and wait your decision. I can't believe this. It really was him? Who thought it would be a good idea to just allow him to be here? You heard what he said, right? He is an Iwotar created from another Iwotar. I always wondered if that was possible. That really doesn't change the fact that it's him. The same person who didn't think twice about torturing players. Players like you, Luke. You and Leah. You still remember what you had to, what you went through because of him, right? I certainly remember what he did to me. Not even to mention Gotham. That is true. Said we'll push Gotham toward his early, his early demise. And I will never forgive him for that. But are we in the right blaming Citra for this as well? After all, he is helping us catch the real culprit. That's all great, but he doesn't need to stick around to do that. Lock him away, get the information you need, and delete him. Whoa there! Doesn't that sound an awful lot like Sidwell's old business model? Look, maybe it's just me, but in the end, he is just an Emotar. Okay, he was created by 
himself, I guess. But still, wasn't he forced to act against his will? Forced? More like he acted according to his own plan. I really don't see how this changes anything. He is just a clone. No, he is not! Just like Leah isn't your clone. And this is not fair. You act like I don't have a say in this. Sure, Sidwell didn't do bad things to me. But unlike most of you, I actually know Tony. He played together in me and Leah, and he was such a nice dork. Heck, if it wasn't for him, stupid me might still be mad at Leah today. He just used you. No, I'm sure it was more than that. Leah, you're with me, right? You got to say something. That is right. Leah may be the only person here that knew both that knew them both well. Sidwell and Citra. So, Mia, what do you think? Does he deserve a second chance? Should Citron stay with us? What do you think? I mean, uh, it is an Evotar of, an Evotar of Sidwell. But, at the same time, even the Evotar started feeling bad about what he was doing. And he wants to help us out. Joel, you're, you're voting for keeping him, I assume? Zero, you're voting for? We're gonna keep him, then. Me, oui, that's right. Personally, I see no harm in having him. If anything, it helps for him to stay cooperative. I agree. Seriously. What do you think, Sergei? Yes, it is the right thing to do. I can't believe this. You really let him off the hook that easily? Fine, I don't care. It's your village. Do what you want. I'm out. Yeah, keep in mind that she's got is an actual avatar. Hi, Tony! Hey, we made our decision. You can stay. What? For real? We. Oui. Of course, we hope to have your full support and try to catch Sable. That, that goes without saying. I, I really don't know what to say. Thanks. Thank you so much. And so the days went by, with a game populated by both players in and Evotars. Finally, we set foot on the great, uh, the great continent of the Croissant, entering Rookie Harbor. To the right, you'll find the Info Hub. A great place if... Yep, that's such a nice street to run around, isn't it? Look, I get it. Who cares about the boring Info Hub? Still, it's a place you might want to remember for later. Just saying. As you probably know, Leah cannot write. However, I have found a way for her to look up words reasonably fast. This is going by itself, by the way. And here it is, the Leah board. And how about a demonstration, Leah? Hi, Leah, why? Wow, amazing improvement. Leah, please. Hello, my name is Leah. Wow, Jay, you can finally communicate. Tell me all about your hobbies right now. Uh, can't. Find words. No. Oh, it is a start. It's really like I always imagine. Imagine the perfect vacation. Movie. Minus the flying fish monsters. I just wish swimming was an option. Why? Well, swimming is fun. Swimsuits. What? No. Come on. Swimsuits kids have been around since forever. Of course there are, it's easy money. It's just that we Evotars can't access them. Why? Yeah, it's not fair. Double standard. Right? Time to fight for our rights to cosmetics. Yummy, almost like the real thing. Delicious. They finally support proper taste senses, that's great. I hope they add hot fall cheese as, as well. You have to try it. Oh no. 
I want to eat. No, you don't. I'm sure the taste is impossible to simulate without breaking pain constraints. Don't listen to him, Mia. So, okay. I hope this won't be a Hagea thing. I promise this is an exception. It's a solar cruiser, E590P! I never expected Incitainment to use such up-to-date models. Yeah, sure keeps the cargo floating. How much longer, Polly? I think I'm getting seasick. Finally, after plenty of redesigns, today we can proudly present to you Homestead's very own monument. Oh, look at that. What? It's a huge Leia! Wow, nice. I never expe expected this. I honestly expected this play of Satoshi. If this is what they were originally planning, but I imagine you talked about it. Congratulations, sister. You deserve it. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. We now have a pretty long list of volunteers. Looks like we'll get the village populated pretty quickly. But those are not the Ubertars we saw in Vermilion Wasteland, right? No, it will be hard to convince Incitainment to get those back into the game. Anything connected to the Ubertar interrogation is taboo to them. Damn. Well, I, get, I keep hold of the backup, so we still find a way. We did it, Citron. We found his current whereabouts. Good. Make sure you're well prepared before you contact any authorities. We need evidence. Decisive evidence. Alright, enough, br enough break. Ready to start this dress test? Let's get to work. This new enemy type has been breaking in mass fights. Apparently they fixed it and I want to test it. So, let's see who can defeat more. And we get to play through the credits. As we defeat a bunch of radical fish. So, that was uh, the entirety of Crosscode. So I want to thank everyone at Radical Fish for making this game. This is literally like one of the best games I have ever played. It is just loaded with personality and compelling story and like combat that feels just fantastic. And like... I don't know. Like, it, this is just everything that I want in a game. Like, in an RPG. All in one game. And honestly, this is kind of like, I, I do want to make my own games, right? And I want to keep this sort of game in mind when I really start getting into it. Just something that will make it so that, like, like Project Terror, for instance, as soon as that comes out, I'm, I'm going to get it because I know for a fact that, um, that Radical Fish knows how to tell a story, you know? Also, I want to thank all of you for... Uh, coming by on these streams. Um, I'm not looking at the chat right now, but Jewel, Zero, uh, J Pop, uh, Jade, uh, thank you to Scarlet for the um, for the ninja skin right early on uh, in the series. Far, uh, thanks for dropping by today. Uh, I know Mazzy and uh, Zuzio have at least been offering their support as far as 
trying to help me get to affiliates. Um, I am probably forgetting a bunch of people here that have dropped by once or twice. Um, if he fishes, 88. You should place some tables and chairs outside, don't you think? Oh, you. Let me see if I can get something from inside my house. So, I can just put these on the grill? Yes, as far as I understood. Just like the real thing. Pretty much. Just much harder to burn. <laughs> Easy mode. Man, I can't wait! Hungry! Don't you feel a little bit worried? I am I heard we're the first players to eat this stuff. Come on, it will be delicious. Greetings, good people of Homestead. Looks like we arrived on time. Come on, tell me he'll show up too. Let me please. Your stakeholder friend has to be here. <laughs> Who else is supposed to handle the meat? <laughs> How often do you plan to repeat that joke? Satoshi! Get off your desk already. Now this is an excellent reward. Thank you for playing. Well, thank you for making. I have had so much fun playing this game again. And yeah, you can go back to this point of the game. Before we go, I'm just going to give you a little taste of what New Game Plus looks like. We, we have another 10 minutes to spend here. So this is entirely based on the achievements that you got. Uh, you can carry over a number of different things. Um, we don't need to carry over some of these things. Uh, we can multiply our gains. Uh, we can disable the, uh, the circuitry blockades. We can max out our SP. Uh, enable Sergei's hacks and do insane damage all the time. Double length of uh, consumable items. Overload is disabled. Uh, start with only one dash that has three times the invisibility and less ending lag. Every hit instantly kills you. Prepare to high. There is no cooldown when consuming uh, when using consumables. And just stuff like that. And then we can pick our save file. Um, there we go. And yeah, we do need to uh, we do need to do the prologue. Unfortunately, it doesn't let us skip this. I don't think, unless I just missed the option. So the, this uh, this prologue pretty much the same as before.
So we're pretty much just going to skip all, skip as much of this as possible. To remember that uh, I currently only have VRPs. Damn, girl, those mice are dropping much faster than I expected. Yes, that is because she is way over leveled. Huh? Wasn't she supposed to start at level 1? That was the plan. Something must have gone wrong, it seems. Well, she sure seems to enjoy herself. Uh, yeah. I think I must have skipped some text here. Yeah, I, I think yeah, I skipped a little too much and um, he does say something about the fact that we are in fact um, level 76. Much, I'll, I'll go until the end of Rhombus Dungeon. All oh, right. Um. Just because, well, you you remember 
how we originally met um, Apollo, right? He was throwing a fit because we were level 4. Concept of an MMO. You'll be a little more angry. Yes, indeed. I don't know if this part is required, but uh, we're gonna do it. Second floor cabins. There we go. Jet uh, doesn't really care about uh, Leah's level, at least until the combat lesson. Also, I like how that uh, I like how that did no damage. Saw it, but there is also an option to make um, all of the enemies in the game your level at all times. Taking down two phases there. Oh, okay. I'm confident that you, you'll be able to hand, handle this. As a matter of fact, with your level, this should really be a piece, a piece of cake. Like, on one hand, I kind of want to make sure I show off all of the difference in dialogue, 
On the other hand, it is getting late and I need to go to bed. I should probably have already been in bed, but I said I was going to finish this game. We may have misjudged your character level. In any way, this spinning motion, one cannot find it twice in this world. And same dialogue as before. Well, well, our endeavor has not been concluded. You will not escape our will. Are you already caught up? Yeah, these are high-level opponents. Do not fight them. Run to the teleporter. Yes, Leah, even being over-leveled, you will be better off just running away. <laughs> Actually, let's kick this guy's butt. Oh, um... Okay! So these guys are just programmed to kick your ass. Regardless of your level. Off we go. And now the neutralizer. Oh, go away. What the bloody hell was all that about? I mean, there's also that uh, jewel, but I don't actually have access to my menu right now, so I can't put on my good gear. Don't worry, Sergey will also have a comment about that. Newcomer's Bridge. Introduction to. Speaking of suspicion. It's absolutely essential that you pass as a regular player. You must avoid being reported at all, at any cost. I... Ah yes. Don't wor Do not worry too much about your speech synchronization issues. You are in fact not the first player with these problems. Hi! Also, your unusual character level certainly does not help you. Anyway, just be careful, okay? And there's Emily. Who did not look at a level. And now we're gonna do Rhombus Dungeon. There's Apollo. Who did look at a level. It's kind of a refreshing change of pace to um, do these easy puzzles after um, after doing literally the hardest puzzles in the game. to make quick menu. Mm -hmm.
I mean, the the VOD for uh, for the first episode is available on the YouTube channel. So if you want if you want to see me relearn the basic mechanics of this game, that's where you need to go. At this point, this is just retreading ground. I want to spend as little time as possible in this. Perfect. So this should give us our character menu. So now we can do that. Oh, wait a moment. What are all these items doing in your inventory? You should barely have anything at this point. Why? Oh no, you have all kinds of equipment too. Maybe you should not wear it? You know, to not attract any attention? Maya, yeah, please. Now, it specifically wants us to equip the rookie equipment. complete the quest. There's nothing stopping us at this point. From equipping our ascended gear. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you. 
It was the right boots, Jewel. Moonwalkers ascended. I'm pretty sure level 76 gear doesn't exist in this game. That was about as quick as expected. Ready for one big upgrade. I'm sure that's not supposed to happen. Wait, why are all your elements already unlocked? This is not supposed to happen. Seriously, this game has been out for quite some time already. Why do these key weird issues keep coming up? And new word, Leah. I mean, we could spend some stuff, but we're not actually going to play through New Game Plus. Like, this conversation is as far as I'm going to end up going. I guess I... it didn't show up in the backlog? Yes, you! The blue-haired spheromancer! Before, you just appeared out of nowhere. Suspicious. And what do I see now? You're a level 76! And this is unheard of. I'm forced to assume you, young lady, have been cheating! What? Monsieur, going for, straight for the accusations? How can you be so sure about it? Just because you're at level 3, it doesn't mean- She is level 76! Level 76! How can you not see the issue? It's ridiculously high! This is plain obvious cheating! Come on, no reason to make a huge deal of it. What, so it doesn't matter to you that some people, some players, start the game with any level they like? Then what's the point of having levels in the first place? Hey, it's just a game. No, this is serious! Young lady, surely I don't need to explain to you the faults of your actions. Cheating will never pay off in the long run. Hi. Is that all you have to say? Oh dear, what's going on here? Jordan, I've exposed this cheater here. Now you're lecturing her? Yes, about the wrongness of her actions. How about... no. What? I'm just pretending... I'll just go ahead and pretend I don't know. But... She is level 76! Look at her! Apologize. Apologies for my friend's behavior. He sometimes, he sometimes pretend to be a moderator. He is not. No problem. What is going on here? Why does nobody care about this? Hello? She is level 76! Monsieur, you should relax. It's just a game. We're only here to have some fun. Oh dear, what an obnoxious guy. Though I have to admit, your level is really a bit um, far out there. Anyway, let's go on. I finally want to reach Rookie Harbor. You can come with me if you want to. Très bien, let's go. Oh, my heart just stopped there for a second. I was close. Honestly though, there is no rational way to explain how we got through that situation. That was just dumb luck. Anyway, 
We're going to end it right there. That's what I want to show off. Uh, there, are, there are a few other differences in conversation, but it kind of tapers off from there. This road is very long today, but now we're at the end of it. And we are at the end of the road for CrossCode as a whole. So once again, I want to thank y'all for watching. The next scheduled stream is uh, Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the extra long run stream where we're going to continue our look at Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Uh, next stream after that is going to be on Sunday at 7.30 p.m. or later, Atlantic Standard Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle, and we're going to do some uh, rando shenanigans. And that brings us around the, week to, around the wheel to our next regular long run stream. And I thought about moving Kirby in the Forgotten Land to Tuesdays, but I think I'm going to leave them on Saturdays. And instead on Tuesdays, uh, we're going to start our look at a certain dynamic duo with an entirely platonic relationship. That's your hint. Um, yeah. So, that is gonna do it for today. Thank y'all for watching. I'm cool here if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time.